to a case that's uh, pretty well known in this particular latent face, I would sharpen the pixels. At this point you can see there's more pixel definition in the image. Send this off for search. This particular latent face has a 46 pixels between the eyes, matched against a mugshot that's in the repository. Do another new case. This particular case is a, a, a drug user, and this particular drug does change personal appearances drastically. case now that uh, shows how it matches against age. This is a uh, pretty prominent individual in the United States. This is uh, Whitey Bulger. This is his mugshot from March 16, 1953. The only enhancement I would do to this particular image is due to camera technology in the early 50s, I would smooth the pixels. match that against the mugshot repository. Again, this is Whitey's 1953 mug matched against this 2010 mugshot. Down here in Canada, position number four is Whitey Bulger's 1987 mugshot. The system has the capability if the individual uh, evidence that you get, the person does not look at the camera. We can do some system enhancements to this. In this particular case, we would turn his head to face forward. What we've done is taken this 2D image, made it a 3D. While it was in 3D, we turned the head to face forward. We put it back into 2D so that we can match it. running video snippets in this case move the slider bar to the person of interest where a person of interest appears capture what it's doing at this point is it's capturing this frame and five frames per second thereafter building a library of those frames to allow us to select which frames we want to use to build our composite for different parts of the face. That one, maybe one that's a little more uh, frontal facing. Maybe one down here that has uh, the other part of his face a little more prominent enhanced. Consolidate those into one composite. 